What's up, my nuggets? Mr. Phantasmo here, and it's Friday. Cue the Friday theme music. Any day now. Oh, I don't have Friday theme music. Never mind. But it's Friday, a day worthy enough of having its own theme music. So we should just, you know, imagine that music played and it was really good. Friday guys, you know what Friday is for guys? It's a it's a it's a not a guy, it's a day, a night moreover that we go out and we scavenge the town for women. And you know what? I've decided to help you guys. I know. I'm very gracious in the fact that I've decided to help you guys um, prepare you for what you're about to encounter this Friday night cuz this Friday night is not like any other Friday night you've ever experienced before. It is a night that you will go out and you will just completely annihilate every woman you see. That kind of didn't come out right. You're going to go and you're going to just gather up all these women and you're going to put them in a basket and take them back to your house and you can freeze them and save them for later. Actually, you're not going to do that either. But you're going to kind of do something like really be the ladies man tonight. That's what you're going to do. Now, Obviously, you're not going to be that big of a ladies' man right yet, because we're still early in, in the lesson plan here, so just, you know, just bear with me on that, but I'm going to try my best to get you guys ready for, you know, just just the just the bare minimums for, for what you need to be able to be awesome around women. So, oh, by the way, did you notice that little editing thing I did? Yeah, it was a little editing cut. If you missed it, then you probably weren't watching the video, because it wasn't really that smooth, but... My, actually, my previous video cut out, uh, the host disconnected right after that, so I just was able to really smoothly just transition into this, so now you can see me stare down this tube the whole way. I, I, picked, a, I picked this gameplay just because I want you guys to focus on my voice, not the gameplay. I want you to focus on my voice. That was the most horrible spot to ever lay your Predator Missile, but that's okay. Here's let's Let's get to the bread and butter, the meat of the sandwich that is talking to girls look I can't even I can't talk to you guys but when it comes to girls trust me I, I know my way around things so I'm here to give you guys some advice and all this advice is is the foundation because I will be doing this is a this is a multi video series this is um, you know it's not just gonna span over one video because it's not it's I don't have barely enough time considering I haven't even said anything about it and it's almost been like what three minutes into it so let's just get started all right the three you're gonna the foundation that I'm going to make for you consists of three basic characteristics that you're gonna need to acquire. Or if you already have them, you're gonna need to improve them. Trust me. Okay. So if you're having trouble with girls, here's what you need. You need to be consistent, confident, and cool. That's right. Consistent, confident, and cool. You might want to write this down. Um, I will not supply the notebooks, but I would recommend a three-ring, four-subject binder. Um, you know labeled accordingly so anyways let's start with consistent because that was the first one I said and it's probably the most important one actually they're all really important I'm very bad at, at, at teaching things like this I guess but consistency you want to be yourself you want to be in cons you want to be consistent in the fact that you're always yourself you never try to be anyone else I mean anyone could be anyone else anyone could you know get really cool friends that they thought were cool like if, if you wanna if you wanna have like weightlifter friends just go around all the time with a barbell in your arm just curling you know you go to class sit down at your desk and you're just doing curls you'll get weightlifter friends but is that who you really are or is that just who you want to be associated with if you want to be a ballerina I, I went through this myself as a child I wanted to be a ballerina so every time I sat down right before I sat down I did, I did a little pirouette I just did a little pirouette and then I sat down and I thought that would get me ballerina friends, and you know what? It did. But let me tell you something. Jody and the Pussycats did not like me very much because I wasn't a true ballerina, and, and they saw that. And when I came to their club and they were all sacrificing their blood into the bucket of uh, Mary Magdalene to help themselves become better at ballerina, I wasn't down. And then they saw my faults, and then you go into problems like that. So just, just to save yourself the hassle and embarrassment that I received, through my ballerina club, just be yourself. You know, um, when when I was when I was in high school, I wasn't I wasn't a uh, I played video games. I I did sports. 
I was really smart, I got good grades, but I wasn't any particular one of those. I didn't fall into the category of nerd or dork. Actually, I was kind of both of those, but, you know, I wasn't like a jock or anything, even though I, I played varsity sports for my high school. It was just, I was just kind of my own person, and that's what I want to stress to you guys the most, is to be your own person. So, that's hard, and these, these steps aren't just like, oh, okay, I'm my own person. If you heard that and you're like, okay, cool, I'm already that, then... You're probably not. You probably need to, to focus a little bit more and make sure that you really are your own person. Don't let anyone else tell you what to do. If you want to wear pink flamingo shoes out to the dance tonight, you wear pink flamingo shoes. And you know what? That's going to lead into the next point because the next point is to be confident. If you put on pink flamingo shoes and you think that everyone's going to make fun of you, then you're going to you're going to send that vibe off and people are going to tell that you're not confident in what you're doing and then they're going to come and attack you. But if you're confident, if you put on those shoes and you rock them. By the way, if anyone has pink flamingo shoes and doesn't want them, send them my way. I'll give you my uh, address, my email address and you can just send me the zip drive and I'll download those shoes. But um yeah, dude, just be confident, be who you are. And, um, you know, just the confidence is key. And, and women, can, can they can sense confidence, and they can tell if a guy's confident or not. And confidence, you can ask any girl out there, and confidence is the most attractive thing that women find in men. It doesn't matter how what you're confident in, but if you're confident, women like that. It shows a sense of power, and it shows a sense of, you know, I don't know, other, other adjectives that are good. Courageousness. Um, it shows a sense of strength. I don't know. Anyways, be confident. Trust me, it works. And also, be cool. Last last point is to be cool. And now I'm not talking, I don't know what kind of cool you're thinking of when I say cool, but I'm talking like Will Smith in the 90s cool. You know, like Prince of Bel-Air kind of cool. Like, Will Smith didn't care. Like, he was, when, when it came to girls... I don't know what Will Smith did, but that was a horrible reference. But this is this is what you got to do when you when you're talking to girls or when you're just around girls. When you're around girls, don't be like, "Oh my god, there's a girl." It doesn't matter. They're just a person and it doesn't you shouldn't be so crazy about it. You have to be like, you go out with friends and some of them are girls and maybe you like one. Just go out and have a good time. Don't go out and try and pick up a girl, especially if you're in high school or something like that. Don't go out and try and pick up this girl while you guys are just going out as friends. Just go out, play it cool, and be confident and be yourself. And, you know, she'll, she'll see you. She'll notice you. She'll find that attractive. If you follow those three basic foundation points, then you're going to set yourself up for a pretty awesome girl later down the road, courtesy of me. So... Those were just kind of the base points, just kind of something that I wanted to throw out there. Because it's Friday, the best day on Earth. Well, actually, yeah, alright, Friday's the best day on Earth. But anyways, uh, so so there, stick to, your, stick to those three points. Remember, consistent, confident, cool. Do all those things, and girls will love you, I guarantee it. So, until next time, until the next episode of Girl Advice, or whatever I'm going to title this, just remember, do those things, and you will be just as cool as me. Probably cooler, though, because that's really easy to do. All right. I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace, Nuggets.